When it comes to social media, it's fast becoming a woman's world. Women are networking, blogging, and even making money. CBS 11's Adrienne Bankard spoke with some social media mavens and shows us how they turned their hobbies into businesses. My blog is a love letter to the city of Dallas. For six years, Cynthia Smoot has been blogging about life in North Texas. Well, I call it a lifestyle blog. I sort of talk about everything there is to do in the city. Oh, so Cynthia is her personal site. So I sort of use my own blog as a test tube site. She and her husband run a marketing firm and social media became a natural extension of advertising. People don't want to hear, you know, happy hour at three o'clock, dollar beers, you know, 50% off on Saturday. They want to have a real conversation with you. I love just the interaction one-on-one. -on -one. It's a conversation that millions of women have joined, including Natalie Reed in Flower Mound, also known as the coupon crazy mommy. I've been couponing all my life. I love to make videos. I've got a coupon for that. With mommy music videos, she shares ideas for saving money. There are smart ways to shop smart, and that's what I do on my blog. This kind of advice is luring women to the web. They spend 30% more time on social media sites than men. Come on in. Thank you. Holly Homer had never read a blog when a friend convinced her to start one. Instead of emailing, let's just start blogs and we'll read each other blogs. And it's like, okay. That's how June Cleaver Nirvana was born. A passion for writing led her to becoming a blogger broker. I started a company called Business to Blogger with two other Flower Mound bloggers. I was being offered opportunities that didn't fit me. So I started you know, handing them off to other bloggers that I thought might like it. And we have about 500 bloggers on our rolls. Holly Homer has five websites and does make some money, <laughs> mostly through consulting. Owner? But the best opportunity is being a semi stay at home mom like Natalie Reed. No, I, I feel like I do have the, the best of both worlds. All agree that big corporations can learn a lot from the women they're trying so. to reach. A lot of times they look at us as women and not as the decision makers in our household. And just like I run this, my blog is a small business, I run my house as a small business. And while there are perks, networking is priceless. I mean, I don't do it for the money. I'm doing it for the love of writing. And the fact that I make a little bit of, you know, shoe money is just icing on the cake for me. Adrian Bankert, CBS 11 News.